Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Air Kitty, and we're back with Rugrats Adventure Game. Oh my god. Still, it's so, still in such awe that I'm playing this. Uh, let's see. We left off. We were starting with Chucky's stuff, like his quest line, I guess. We'll call it a quest line. Starting off with his thing, his idea. And uh, we're trying to make a monster, and we just got the Monster Messipi book. Here it is. And yeah, so now, like, obviously we have everything. We can see what exactly we still need. Uh, let's see. Let's check the store first. That's Grumper Lou's rolled a ball shirt. We don't need it right now. Okay. So yeah, now we're going through the house, and we're just trying to find items. Some items are going to be for one of the other babies, so really just the twins stuff. But obviously, I can't remember where all the items are. Hey, is that your grandpa's socks? Or is he keeping some of my dad's quiche in here? I really want to see if they'll bring back Howard, too, in the uh, new reboot. That's one thing I was just kind of thinking about. There was a small Easter egg in there. Oh, look, Tommy. It's your grandpa's extra hair. Just... We find him some scary hair. Looks more like, uh, Tommy just... Or a bunch of pubes, but you know, we are not. It's kid game! Uh, yeah, if it hasn't been mentioned before, if it hasn't been known, maybe I should start putting disclaimers on my videos. Um, my stuff is typically not child friendly. <laughs> I am not typically child friendly. I am typically catering to the 13 and older crowd, so if you are not in that crowd, you might want to, uh, rethink these life choices that you're making on watching this video. Uh, let's see, going back into the bathroom, was there anything in the bathroom? Uh, Tommy? Look up your bathtub's wear the dress. <laughs> Any bleach in here that we can grab? Uh, that's part of my daddy's invention. I don't think we're supposed to go in there right now. Maybe later. Okay, not in that one. Uh, bleach in here? Hmm, that stuff looks kind of milky. Yes, I'll leave it here in case we need it later. Oh, okay. No bleach, just toilet milk. I guess. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's actually a really cool invention. I kind of wish I had one for my apartment. Just something that dispensed enough floss for me, but then again, I'm like. I have a hard time using, like, just, like, the actual floss string. Because, like, obviously, like, my- f you know, when you're trying to get, like, the way back, obviously your fingers are kind of rubbing up against the inside of your mouth, so your fingers get really wet, then, like, the string starts kind of coming apart. It doesn't matter how much I use, it just always is, like, sliding around, so I'm like, I just use the floss picks, okay? It's a lot easier, it saves me a lot of heartache. <laughs> And my teeth are getting clean, doggone it. Okay, that's it. Uh, let's see, we went to... Yeah, we went to Grandpa Lou's room, now let's go in here. I think there's some stuff in here. Huh. 
Uh, it's empty. I think something weird is going on around here. I'm just uh, very happy we didn't find anything in that drawer, to be honest. Oh. Wrapper? Um, that's a yucky old candy wrapper. It'll just make my diaper all sticky. Let's just leave it here until we need it. Okay. Let's turn around. Nothing else? Okay. Nothing in there. Oh, okay, there's nothing. Um Tommy, do your parents actually live here? Or is this all for show? Because it feels like your parents don't actually have anything. Is your parents' love life okay? Are they happy together? I think I find it your ground beast fuzzy flippers. We finding big booties. Why are Grandpa Lou's slippers in Dee Dee's vanity? I like windows. Uh, except when I walk into them, hurts my nose. <laughs> I'm just imagining Tommy like going up to like a back door or something like that, and uh, you know just. My sister did that, actually. She, uh... I don't remember if my brother was chasing her, or she was... trying to run out the back door for something, but uh, we had a... we have, like, the... you know, the sliding glass uh, back doors. In my mom's house. <laughs> she ran full force into them. <laughs> she didn't break it, thankfully. They're, they're double pane, so it was pretty strong, but... <laughs> she ran into it. We don't let her live that down now. <laughs> Can't- I, it look- I can- Are we doing something? <laughs> that was pretty. <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, actually, can we go to the other side of the bed? Or is that not a thing that I can do? No, that's not a thing I can do, because that's pretty much right up against the wall. It's also kind of funny, because, like, with every game that features Tommy's house, the layout of his house always changes, it feels like. Okay, so we've gone... Yeah, because, like, this is Tommy's room, and, I mean, it's kind of... kind of where it's supposed to be. Like, when you're looking down the hallway and stuff like that, like, in the Search for Reptar game, when you were, like, looking down the hallway, Tommy's room was the last room on the left. But then I think technically across the hall from him was either... Or no, actually, I think Tommy's... No, Tommy's room was the last room on the right. Wow, I'm getting myself all confused. But see, this is how many times, like, literally, the house changes. I'm like, can we just stick to one design of this house, please? Which is kind of what makes me happy in a way that, um... That the... Kind of unpopular opinion, that the Rugrats series is in... CGI. There's nothing in here! Unless it's really, really itsy bitsy teeny weeny weeny teeny! I mean, it technically is. Science says it is, so... 
There is something there, it's just... Not visible. But yeah, no, I, that's kind of one of the perks, I guess, of having the whole Rugrats series be in CGI, is the fact of... Obviously, when they did the 2D animation back in the 90s, they had to hand draw everything. So... They had this is my favorite hiding place when we play hide and go peek. Oh, okay. Cool. Glad to know. But yeah, so, uh... They had to hand draw every single scene. So it always felt like that the house never kept the same layout, even in the episodes, sometimes. Because, you know, sometimes in the family room area next to the front door, sometimes there was a recliner, sometimes there was a love seat, sometimes there was a couch. And I mean, granted, the family could have, like, you know, just... Rearrange the room. You know, Dee's probably getting bored. You know, she'll just rearrange the room. It's fine. But apparently they have all three, like a set of furniture with the same pattern on it. That same purple, like... Hey, Tommy! This piece of your crib is loose! Hope you don't fall out! Oh, jeez. Hey, Tommy! Does your crib thingy tinkle like ours? Tinkle or twinkle? If it tinkles while I'm trying to sleep, I think I'd have some problems. I'm gonna have a lot of problems, actually. <laughs> Look, guys! Baby powder! You know, I think if you add water, it makes babies. You, he you heard it here, folks. If you add water to baby powder, it makes babies. You no longer have to do it the, the old, outdated way that we've been doing it for years. There's an easier way. Just go out to your local Walmart. Or, you know, wherever you get baby powder. Your local baby store, if you still got those. And uh, just go pick up some baby powder. Then just add water. Within, uh, four to five business days, you'll be a proud parent. <laughs> nope, nothing in there. That's a relief. Honestly, that's me any single time I go into, like, tight spaces like this, or, like, any dark spaces. Uh, I actually recently had to clean out my closet. Uh, because I needed to get my new bedspread. Just because, you know, I was getting kind of tired of the other one. I was like, oh, you know what? This this one uh, would work better. I was trying to do stuff for the Halloween video that did not work out as well as I wanted it to. Oh, crap, I've already been here. And, uh... I was also thinking about it. I was like, you know, these colors actually match probably better because of the channel. Like, the channel's colors are, like purple, black, and white. So I was like, you know, I'll put this bedspread on instead. And, um... I think as I've said in some previous videos, I, I've had some scares already with, like, some freaking huge field spiders just crawling around on the floor somewhere. So, like, I'm, like, super terrified. And, like, as I'm, like, reaching for things, like, next to my dresser and, like, trying to reach the back of, like, my closet, <laughs> I'm just like, please don't let me pull something away and just see this huge, like, field spider, like, in a nest and just be like, hi! And be like, you're not supposed to be here. I can't reach anything else! What do you mean you can't reach? You just climb the box. Like that! You literally- Hey, I find a mask like the one my daddy uses to go tuba diving! We find it a big scary mask. The fact that your father is not afraid to go scuba diving, but yet he's afraid of everything else? Look at all 
this stuff. Quick. It's kind of like being at the toy store, only without the toys. That's just going to the store. It's boring. Hey, why'd they leave all this neat stuff up here? They'll never understand grown-ups. I still don't understand grown-ups. I found it a nice, warm, toasty coat for our monster. We find it flappy dragon wings. Okay, flappy dragon wings. Um... I can't remember if there's anything in the kitchen. There might be. Aw, oh, look, Tommy. Your mom got hand thingies that look like fishies. Yeah, but I think she's using them right now. You better put them back. Okay, she doesn't care that we just literally went into the drawer and got a, got a bunch of stuff for ourselves, but... Like, literally, that could have been the knife drawer. She doesn't care. Yeah, we go after them cookies, and she's all over that. That looks like sticky syrup. We don't need that now, but we can get it later if we do. Okay. I can get over there near the counters. No, it's just gonna go straight to the fridge and everything. So yeah, let's turn back around. Let's go into the living room. They really are scary monster hands. <laughs> we find it big monster claws. So I think the only thing left now is a tail and horns. Is that it? Uh, all of that was there was a sandwich. I don't think we need that. Is there anything over here on this? Nope, not anything there. Wasn't anything there. I think we do need this feather duster. Look! I found it a feathery duster! We find it the big old dragon tail! I don't know for whatever reason, but my mind was just like, my mind heard dragon tail. And then I thought of the show, Dragon Tails. And it was now it's singing the Dragon Tail song to me, the theme song. Okay, so I think the last thing we need is actually downstairs. Let's go down there. Hi, Dad. This garbage invention of mine is going to put Pickles Industries on the map, or at least in the phone book. That is something that kids will never, ever remember. Phone books. I think it's funny because, you know, people would be like, you know, like, what's the purpose of a phone book? And be like, actually, there was multiple purposes for a phone book. One, obviously, if you needed to find someone's phone number, you had it. And it's actually even funnier, too, because I love- the other thing I just realized, too, was with privacy. We probably actually have more privacy with phone numbers now because, um, back in the 90s, anybody could find your phone number. 
and they could figure out what your name is. Like, they had a list of people that lived in your area <laughs> with your name, your full name, your address, and your phone number. That is how our phone books were, where I, where I lived and everything like that. That's how they were laid out. They had our names, they had our address, and they had our phone numbers, our home phone number. The good thing is that thankfully if a serial killer ever did try to find my house, the phone book usually always had it wrong. So, good luck trying to find my house. <laughs> or my parents' house, at least. But uh, yeah, no, the, the other purpose of the phone book was uh, used as a booster seat for things. Like if you were too small and you couldn't reach something. Hey, I find it a horn! Cool. Ow. Okay, guys, we got all the monster parts. Are you babies still wasting time trying to save Reptar? If I was you, I'd be watching out for spaceships. Well, see ya. Oh, I guess we better start making a monster to scare away Hubert so we can save Reptar. Or maybe we should try making something to reach him with. Come here, little Reptar. Or we could try getting outside of the trash can. What do you think we should do? So I'm going to stick with just Chucky and just keep with the original plan. Like I said, obviously, I think we will be able to go through all three of them. Like, all three babies. Plans. Let's see. How are we going to make a monster out of these monster parts? Well, we could put them on somebody who's already big and icky. <laughs> How about Chucky? <laughs> oh, no, you don't. You're not getting me to dress up like a monster. Should have known better than to say something like that. You make a great monster, Chucky. Thanks. I think. But is he scary enough to scare you, Bert? Mm, maybe we should try him out on somebody else first. How about Angelica? Nah, we'll never scare her. She's not scared of anything. Then we got to try it out on her. If we can scare her, we can scare anything. That's pretty good logic. Okay, Chucky, you hide in the closet, and when Angelica comes in, jump out and scare her. I don't know about this, guys. Now, you hide, and we'll go find Angelica. Okay. But how are we gonna get Angelica up here to get us scared by Chucky? We know Angelica likes cookies, right? So we just leave a trail of cookies from wherever she is to Chucky, and then he can scare her. Okay, how about we just eat the cookies and leave Chucky in the closet? Sorry, Phil. Those cookies are for Angelica. Yeah, thanks a lot, Phil. <laughs> oh, no. I burnt this whole batch of cookies. Ah, uh, there's no use crying over burnt cookies, Deed. Now set those down on the table, Eric. Give me a hand with this cake batter. Holy mackerel! I think my yeast is out of control. Oh, my goodness. We'd better get that into the hyperbaric chamber right away. Did you hear that, guys? There's cookies right up there. Sure did, Tommy. It sounds like your yeast is out of yeah, control. Yeah, but they're all burnt and yucky. Oh, uh, that's okay. We'll just, um, get Spike to wash them off and they'll be good as new. Hey, Spikey, wake up. Okay, Philip, you throw me the cookies and I'll catch him and give them to Spikey so he can wash them off. Okay, Mom's away! Here they come! There you go, Spikey! You got to be careful. If we make too much of a mess, my mom will catch us. Crap, that's right. Spike, did you just eat one? Licky, licky. It's amazing that this dog is still alive, to be honest. After the amount yeah, of cookies doggy. that this dog eats. Yeah, 
this part of Chucky's little quest, I hate it. <laughs> Just because this was kind of a difficult mini game, like the cookie stuff. This is fun. Like I mean, I don't mind this part. This part's really easy. But like the next mini game we do, um, and then sometimes like the. Keep them coming, Philip. This last one. We did it! That's all the cookies we need to get Angelica up to see Chucky Monster! Let's go! Good. But yeah, so... Yeah, this minigame. God, I hate this one. Okay, we got the cookies. Now we got to get Angelica to come upstairs. That's not gonna be easy. Yeah, we never got her to go anywhere we wanted her to go. Well, I figure we can start tossing these cookies and try to get one on every step. That'll get Angelica up here for sure. Okay, you're gonna have to help me throw the cookie. First, you got to show me how far you want me to throw it by pulling back on my arm, then just let go! And it's not just gonna be... Yeah, it's like each step is highlighted. So... I'm guessing it's probably better just to go from, like, each step downwards. Oh no! Yeah. I don't know why Spike, for some reason, is like, hey, I'm gonna just eat some cookies. Okay, just a few more steps, and Angelica will come upstairs and see our Chucky monster! We got to get one on every step, you guys! Trying! We did it! Oh, thank God. Look, here comes Angelica! Quick, quick, we got to hide so she'll come see our Chucky monster! I remember having to redo that a lot. Mmm, more cookies! Yeah, because what would end up happening is Spike would come, he'd eat half of them, then he'd, like, get sick and go back down the stairs, and then have to redo it again, and then, like, I'd run out of cookies. She's opening the closet! We get a Chucky monster! I'm sucking out your brains, then making you do yucky stuff like eating vegetables and cleaning your room. Now that's scary. Angelica, look out behind ya! Yeah, right. Like I'm gonna fall for that old trick, sneezy boy. Ah! <laughs> no, Spike, don't. You can come out now, Chucky. It was only Spike. Spike was scared of the air all by yourself down. Chucky was in his monster suit. Hey, I have a good idea. Let's put Spike in the monster suit. I'll bet you'll be scary enough to scare away Hubert, and then we can say Reptar. Or maybe we should try making something to reach him with. Come here, little Reptar. Why, we could try getting outside again. No. Come on, help us pick. 
Yeah, we're staying with Chucky. We're finishing this. I said we're committed. We're finishing it. Okay, now we got to put all this stuff on Spike. Spike! Spike! Yeah, Spike! Okay, guys, Sorry. grab him! It isn't working, you guys. Uh, the monster suit keeps falling off. Spike, come back! Hey, look out! Yuck! Give me back my lollipop, you dumb dog! Uh oh, Spike. Looks like you're all sticky now. <laughs> Guess it's time for a bath. Uncle Stu, can we give my lollipop a bath too? That's it, you guys. That's how Just we can make Spike lollipop. into a monster. By giving him a bath? No. We find stuff to make him all sticky, then the monster suit won't fall off. Come on, let's go. This poor dog. Oh, uh, let's see. Well, uh, we we went around the house and we did find a bunch of sticky stuff, so I think there's stuff... I don't know if this baby powder count? Baby powder's not really sticky. I don't know if... It... Look, guys! Baby powder! You know, I think if you add water, it makes babies. Okay, no. So, not there. I don't think there was anything in... I don't think there's anything under the changing station. There's nothing in there. I don't think there's anything in the closet. Is there anything in the... Tilly closet across? I don't think so. There might have been stuff in the bathroom? Hmm, that stuff looks kind of milky. Guess I'll leave it here in case we need it later. I can't really read it, so I don't know what it, like... I understand milk's not necessarily sticky, but... Bathroom milk might. I don't know. I've never had nor used bathroom milk to know if it's sticky or not. Uh, was there something? I don't know if there's anything sticky in here. That's Grandpa Lou's rolled a ball shirt. We don't need it right now. I just realized that she said, like, I think she said roll the ball shirt. Grandpa socks? Or is he keeping some of my dad's quiche in here? He's not there. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in there. my grandpa's fishy pole. It's his favorite toy. After his teeth, I guess. Uh... No. Okay. So I kind of want to know, how are the babies opening up these doors just fine? But they can't open the back door. Or the front door, for that matter. Physics is being broken here. So I know that the sticky candy wrapper is something that we need. Because Tommy had said prior, like, oh, this is just a sticky old candy wrapper. Um, that's a yucky old candy wrapper. It'll just make my diaper all sticky. Let's just leave it here until we need it. Never mind. We'll just leave it there until we need it. Now's not that time, I guess. I don't 
think that there's, I think, you know, I'm just realizing, I think a lot of the sticky stuff is downstairs in the, uh, kitchen. Okay, let's... I found it some of maple syrup! I bet this will be sticky. Just stick all of that maple syrup right in your... right in your pants. Okay. Uh, yeah, so now let's go up. Hey guys, we find a peanut butter! Find some honey! Let's take it! Oh, that's a nice looking cake. It's very 3D rendered, but you know, it's... It's a nice cake. Okay, so that wasn't everything then. Um... There's lots of nummy things in here, but we don't want any right now. We got to find more sticky stuff. Let's look around. The only other sticky thing that I can find, or that I can think of at the moment, really. Ah, looks like we might be low on cornstarch. Ah, don't fret yourself, dude. I'll just have Howard run out and shuck a few cobs for us. Uh, that's not really what I wanted to go. The only other thing that's sticky that I can think of is that candy wrapper. Oh my god. I didn't mean to keep turning. The eggs? Will the eggs do? Whoa! Old smelly eggshells! These things are better than treasure. I'll just leave them buried right here. We can come back for them later if we need them. <laughs> wow, Phil, that was disgusting. I think something weird is going on around here. Whoop! Nothing in there. There's nothing in here! Unless it's really, really itsy bitsy teeny weeny weeny teeny. This is my favorite hiding place when we play hide and go peep. I'm just glad I don't have to be the monster anymore. We still don't got enough stuff to make those monster parts stick to Spike. We better keep looking. <laughs> one time, one time I fell asleep on my lollipop, and when I woke up, it was stuck to my nose. <laughs> hmm. I wonder where we can find sticky stuff to make a monster out of Spikey. After he hugged Mabel's tree, everything stuck in too chucky. We got to make Spike sticky so the monster parts won't fall off of him. If they stop giving Spike all those baths, those monster parts would just stick right to him. Let's see. How do you make a dog sticky? Dang it. Well, I'm getting stuck and I'm just like... The only other place I haven't really checked for anything is the utility closet, which might have something. I'm not really sure. Um, in the basement. And I've asked all the babies for help to see if they have any ideas. And they don't. Uh, the tape? Can I get any tape? I can't reach anything else! Oh my god, Chucky. Is there anything oh, else in this box? <sighs> nope, that's it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, please tell me there's something down here. I found you some sticky tape. Oh, thank God we found everything. Okay, looks like Spike's all sticky. Now, let's go back and get the monster suit stuff. <laughs> oh, no! Angelica took all our monster stuff. We got to get it back. Sorry, babies. I took all your monster stuff, or whatever that junk was, and hide it all over this room. So you better find it, or I'll hide it all over again. <laughs> Ready, set, go! Great! So this is basically a uh, hidden pictures game. Uh, that, that, and... Ha! I knew you babies couldn't find all your stuff! Now you're gonna have to look in this room! <laughs> Great. Yeah, I think it's like time, so like you have to find oh, it. Oh, well, you found everything! Guess you were smarter than I thought. Have fun making your dumb monster. Great. But yeah, if you take too long or something like that, like it's like a 20 second time limit or something like that, or 10 second time limit. Wow, he's the bestest monster I ever seen! Yeah, you never know who Spike! Okay, all we got to do now is get him loose! <laughs> Spike Monster, come back! Oh boy, I can't remember the last time I baked this much... What the... Oh, Spike, what have you gotten into? You scared me to death. That set the old pulse pounding, huh, dude? We did it, you guys! We scared our mommies! I guess Spike really is scary! If Spike can scare your mommy, he can scare Hubert! Good job, Spikey! <laughs> I wouldn't scare your mommies away if I was you. Without Reptar around, you're gonna need him to save you from the aliens! <laughs> oh no! We gotta save Reptar, guys! We could try to find something to reach Red Par with. We could try getting outside again. Hmm, what do you want to do? Let's see, uh, is Chucky still an option? Like... Sorry, Red Monster Day's enough for me! Okay, so we're done with Chucky's stuff. So we're now moving on to one of the other kids. Um... Oh. Okay, so yeah. That that explains it right there. So, uh... Stuffs we've got so far. So yeah, we have to complete each of the baby's things. But, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna make a choice right now. I'm, uh... I'm gonna leave it off here. And I'm gonna pick this up in another episode. Uh, it's, I think, about dinner time-ish? Almost there, and uh, I'm starving. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get something to eat. <laughs> hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, <laughs> I hope that you're following along, and you know, I'm hoping I'm bringing back all those great childhood memories for you if this was a part of your childhood. And if it wasn't, well, hope that I'm making good memories for you. But yeah, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!